May I ask you a riddle? Emerald by day, ruby by night. Of course, you already know what I mean. That's why you're here. Alexandrite is well known for displaying one of the most remarkable color changes in the gem world. Green in sunlight and red in incandescent light. Phenomenal color change and extreme rarity make Alexandrite one of the world's most coveted stones. This gemstone has great durability, making it an excellent choice for jewelry. However, Alexandrite's extreme rarity drives prices very high. Even synthetic Alexandrite does not come cheap. Still, this gem dramatic color change makes it an exciting addition to any collection. Hi everyone, I'm Sasha Kareva and on this channel I talk about gemstones, so welcome! Alexandrite was discovered in the Ural Mountains of Russia in the 1830s. Mineralogist Neil Gustav Nordenskild. By the way, we met this legendary person before in the video about Demantoid, rare and precious variety of garnet. So, Neil Gustav was the first who realized this unusual green color changing gemstone was something new. In 1834, Count Lev Alexeyevich Perovsky named the stone in honor of the then future Tsar of Russia, Alexander II. This connection to the Tsars likely helped the gem gain prestige by association. Uh, a combination of beauty, celebrity and rarity helped create a mystic around this gem in the public imagination. Alexandrite is a variety of chrysoberyl that displays a change of color from green to red. Natural alexandrite gemstones usually have bluish-green or vivid hues of green in natural lighting and will change color to pinkish-purple or deep-rich purple or vivid red color in incandescent light. This effect happens thanks to the chromium content in natural alexandrite stone. Some of the common color combinations of alexandrite in Gemlab certification are bluish-green to purple, green to grayish-purple, a green-blue to purplish red, a yellowish green to brownish purple, and green to purplish pink. A distinct color change is the primary qualification for a chrysoberyl to be considered alexandrite. Problem is that no strict standard exists for distinguishing between alexandrite and color change chrysoberyl. However, the presence of chromium is essential. If the stone does not change from bluish green to red or reddish purple, it may be a color change chrysoberyl. It should not stay the same or change color to blue or light green. These gems, though exciting and beautiful, are less rare than alexandrite and much less expensive. Always request an identification report from a gemological laboratory to ensure that the gem is an alexandrite. For alexandrite, the quality of the color change is paramount. Of course, it would be brilliant to find the gem whose color changes like a traffic light from green to red. In fine examples, the change is typically one from a slightly bluish green to a purplish red. The quality of color change is often referred to by dealers in a percentage basis, with 100% change being the ideal. Stones that display a change of 30% or less are marginal interest and uh, are arguably not even alexandrite. Significant brown or gray components in either of the twin colors will lower value dramatically. Clarity does not play a significant role in grading. As is the case with the majority of gems, most naturally occurring alexandrite is not clean, facetable material. Most is the best suited for cabochons and alexandrite's color change has more effect on its value than its clarity. For example, take two alexandrites of equal size. One gem is eye clean with a 50% greenish blue to brownish red color change. The other is an opaque cabochon with a 100% green to red color change. The opaque cap would be considered more valuable. In terms of clarity, alexandrite is comparable to ruby, with clean faceted stones in size above 1 carat being rare and extremely rare in size above 2-3 carats. Negative crystals and parallel rutile silk are common inclusions. The largest known faceted alexandrite is a 65 carats green-red color change stone from Sri Lanka. The stone resides at the Smithsonian Institution. The largest Russian gems weigh about 30 carats. Also, there are two stones uh, which exhibit in British Museum in London, 43 and 27 carats Sri Lankan stones. In the market, faceted alexandrites are found in a variety of shapes and cutting styles. Ovals and cushions are most common, but round are also seen as are other shapes, such as the emerald cut. 
I have one example of round cut alexandrite gem on my website. This gem was mined in the Ural Mountains, one of the most famous deposits where the history of alexandrite started. Fine stones have also been found in Sri Lanka, Zimbabwe, Burma, Tanzania, Madagascar, India and Brazil. In 1987, an important new deposit at Brazil was discovered. This mine produced for just a brief period, but a number of fine stones were found. In the mid-1919s, Tanzania's Turundu region has also produced some outstanding specimens. Size always affects alexandrite value. Alexandrites above 0 0.25 carats are rare if we are speaking about faceted gems. Collectible specimens you can find in much bigger size for sure. Usually larger stones exhibit weaker color changes and lesser clarity. Consequently, prices increase rapidly for larger stones of good quality. In size up to 1 carat, top quality natural gems can sell for up to 15,000 US dollars per carat. Over one carat, the prices range from 50,000 to 70,000 US dollars per carat. From my personal experience, recently I sold few Sri Lankan Alexandrite cabochons from 1.3 carats till 2.6 carats, and the price was from $90 till $2,500. Some cabochons also had a phenomena, cat's eye effect. Few cabochons Alexandrite shows both expectational color change and a sharp cat's eye across its entire surface. The dark blue, green to purple color change covers about 80-85 percent of the gem. That's why some pieces costed higher than others. But in general, I cannot say that Alexandrite trading is on the same level as ruby or emerald. Yes, many people are looking for the stones, but in the most cases, reality does not meet expectations. Usually customers expect more bright color and more strong color changing. Even if we check auction houses, they also cannot break with big deals for Alexandrites. The most famous was uh, in October 2007, when a 90 carat Alexandrite and diamond ring sold for around 1 million US dollars. That comes out to over 50,000 per carat. And lastly, in 2017, a small size Alexandrite 9.99 carats from Brazil sold for 313,000 US dollars. And that's it. Because of the gem's rarity, natural Alexandrite usually comes with a high price tag. However, lab-grown Alexandrite has the same chemical and physical and optical properties as natural Alexandrite at only a fraction of the cost. They grow from the same chemical ingredients under the same condition as natural gems, only at an accelerated rate. Lab-created alexandrites are real alexandrites. Synthetic alexandrite gems are grown using a seed of natural Russian alexandrite as well as high amounts of chromium to achieve the vibrant colors and color-changing effects seen in the natural stone. In addition, lab-grown gems typically reduce environmental and humanitarian impacts that are often associated with mining. Without the more affordable lab-grown gems, many people would never have the opportunity to own or wear such a stunning gem. Lab-created alexandrite is also valuable. Synthetic alexandrite retail price it can be easily around $500 per carat. In conclusion, there are many reasons to buy an alexandrite gemstones. They are rare and valuable, and they have a unique color change ability. There are also said to have special meaning and properties that can bring good luck. So, if you are looking for a special and meaningful gemstone, be sure to consider an alluring gemstone alexandrite. Don't forget to share in the comments your experience with this precious gem. See you in the next videos.